hey guys so welcome back to my channel in this video i will tell you how you can write tickle uh, to do the synthesis in the genus and uh, for uh, design compiler also okay so for two uh, two tools i will tell you how you can write it so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe my channel okay so let's start the video first step is that you have to create a uh, tickle file by creating like gedit and then gedit give the name of file suppose i want to create for the genus so i am going to write it genus genus dot tickle right if you will give this it will open one pop-up uh, one uh, file so this file has been opened right so here you can write it and then you can save it okay so i have already written i don't want to make video longer so i will explain you how you can write it okay so i'm closing this now i am opening that file which is which is for a uh, genus okay make sure i am telling for the genus right now second uh, in the next time next uh, after this i will tell you how you can write for the design compiler okay see so uh, first i will tell you that there is three process in the uh, synthesis tool first it will elaborate the design rtl code then it will map the design and then it will optimize the design okay so three process are there okay so i will explain first you what you have to do first what you have to do uh, set db this one set db set db to uh, uh, setting the file location okay so it will read the file set db in it lib search path and then you have to give the directory directory of the library where it is okay so generally the in like genus tool take the dot lib file for the synthesis so you have to give the path of dot lib file see this one okay so first line i think it is clear second is that you have to give the path for the rtl where it is okay so again set db in it stl search path it was library search path now it is sdl search path okay set db init sdl search path and then give the path where the rtl code is okay from where you want to take that rtl and do the synthesis okay now read that library because you have given the path for the library you have given the path for the library now you want to read that library so read libs okay and then give the library name whatever it is there and then dot lib because it will be in the dot lib file okay now now this the reading uh, directory and library is done in three line and next line is to read the very low code system very low code or uh, vsdl code okay so here it, you will give the read read stl and the name of that uh, rtl dot v if you want to do for the vsdl you will do vsdl okay and for system very log i think you have to write system very log check it uh, and then the first step is elaboration of this rtl okay uh, so this elaborate will do the uh, check the syntax or some uh, error in the code if it is error it will give you the error okay first time so elaborate means it will check the counter dot b okay so if it is fine again you have to give the uh, synopsis design constant like constant file because uh, in the constant you have to uh, define the what will be the clock cycle what will be the rise time what will be the fall time so for that you have to re uh, write read sdc right read stc and then give the di uh, directory of the uh, stc where it is okay i will tell you also how to write the stc okay so we connected me and now the what i told you that there is three step elaborate mapping 
and optimization so elaborate elaboration is done here now set db sync generic sync syn generic if, uh, and then effort will be medium so basically what will happen there are different uh, effort medium low high and express uh, if you want more optimized form if you want the uh, if you want the area should be minimum uh, so that's why you can give the effort based on your uh, requirement so medium is uh, i have given you can give low medium high express okay so these all are now it will <coughs> what type of uh, the mapping you want uh, so set db syn map effort medium and then what type of optimization you bought okay so set db sync opt effort that is medium okay so these all three things has been done and again this uh, like uh, medium effort has been given now uh, synthesize to generic synthesize to generic means that if you have the rtl code there is a default library by the tools they will map that rtl with the default library okay so sync uh, syn generic means this okay sin mapping mapping means that rtl code will be mapped with the library cell whatever the library uh, whatever the cells in the library are there they will be mapped with the uh, rtl code and then syn optimization this one this will do the optimization of the all the cells and uh, it will give you the optimized net list okay so this this was the reading the library second was to uh, read the verilog code and elaborate that and this is for reading the constant file and these are the <coughs> me, uh, efforts uh, what you want and then synthesis uh, this okay now after the, this uh, all step synthesis has been done you want some report okay if you if you want uh, the output net list so output net list like you can give like this right sdl i don't want first report i want that first i want some output so if you want the net list write that right sdl and then uh, as we want in the next directly so uh, simply given the uh, this this sign and then output outputs that is a folder and in that folder it will be the net list will be generated if you want <coughs> suppose if you want to give the net list in the some directory okay so directly what you will do write hdl and then like this uh, give the directory uh, give the directory where you want to uh, produce uh, that net list and then uh, here should be dot v this is the name of file suppose if you want to do that anything okay so net dot v you can do that also okay so that's uh, i wanted to make you understand now if you want the stc of the net list what what uh, like you, you will give the input stc if you want the output stc you will write it write stc and then again same output that is the folder and counter dot stc and then write the stf uh, you can also uh, uh, take it uh, take as output so after getting this you want the report like timing power area qr so for that you have to directly give report underscore timing report underscore power report report underscore area okay so these all things will be uh, like that okay so lastly you have to give the dot rpt okay so this is the process of writing the tickle file for genus i think this video is little longer so for synapses i will make uh, okay i will make you understand in the fast way so this is the process i think hope you you have understood the process okay so like i will do the synthesis also so that you can understand that okay so wait 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 okay so i am not going to edit this file i, I want to put it at so i want to show you the synthesis right Uh, 
RTL to GDS and then SYN THE SYS okay synthesis okay video is longer so I want to make it faster So you have to write genus and then file and then the name of tickle what I what the name you have if you have given okay so then press enter then it will invoke that genus tool and then let's see so hope you have understood the process how you can write the uh, tickle file for uh, now if you want to see in the GUI okay uh, GUI so click GUI see the counter has been synthesized uh, now want you want to see the schematic you can see this this is the schematic view of the counter right I am closing this okay these are the cell which has been taken from the library okay if the library is not there you, you want generic then there what uh, you can do you can you can remove this one uh, if you will remove these two I think it will be synthesized to the generic so default library is there in the tool okay so now I will tell you how to write the constant and it will be same for both cases for genus and well at synopsis so first the create clock for creating a clock and this will be name what is the name of clock so clock is there CLK in the counter and what is the period you want so period will be 10 and then waveform it will be uh, 0 to 5 because you, if you want you want the uh, period to be 10 so the upper pulse and lower pulse it will make a combination like 10 so it will be 10 and the what will be the it get get ports so it will get ports and name of that clock so CLK now you want to uh, what is the rise time of that clock so set clock transition dash this is dash uh, rise so 0 0.1 get clocks clocks set clock transition that is fault time 0 0.1 get clocks and then <coughs> set clock uh, uncertainty so this is and set input delays output delays of the reset and the count in the same way you can write it okay it should be the same set input delays what is the maximum value max 1.0 get ports so ports name is reset and then clock get uh, clocks and then clock okay so this way you can write the constant file for uh, file, file okay so I am closing this now I want to show you for the uh, synopsis design compiler okay guys so video is very longer I don't want to make it see the same thing in the what uh, uh, in the genus what we were doing set db so here it will be only set this is for synopsis design compiler right so set and then search path here it uh, search path there it was uh, in it hdl search path was there like you can go back and see okay and then again same thing give the directory of the library and then here you have to link library there it was search library path okay so link library and here directly you can give that uh, path as well as the dot db file okay now read that uh, very log file so read file there it was read sdl okay so read file what is the format and then very log if you want if the uh, rtl is very log so give very log if it is system very log system very log vsdl whatever and then give the directory as well as the file including directory and then uh, analyze that file you, you can do by analyzing write the uh, then elaboration 
this is analy analysis analysis like elaboration okay this is right right means it will give some output okay so right hierarchy format ddc so there is ddc because it will keep record of the rtl uh, not none at least so it will make a schematic view of that rtl so what it was previous okay so this is dot ddc file and then timing area set clock uh, like here also you give the uh, constant but it is better to make the constant file separately as we have seen uh, in the uh, pre, uh, in the pre uh, like previous uh, section okay so create clock name of the clock clock period 10 waveform so it is like that and then for compilation here it will be compiled okay uh, if you want to do incremental synthesis to get optimized for more optimized there it was uh, effort medium high express here it will be incremental there also you can do incremental synthesis okay so compile ultra incremental if you will do that okay like this and then <coughs> Uh, some there are many commands are there okay so not i'm going to tell you all the uh, so again now you want the netlist so there it was write hdl then directory and then dot b file so here write hierarchy format the very low and then this is output so output and then design uh, give the directory where you want that netlist right and then you want to report then it will be similar to that report area report timing report design whatever and give the directory and dot rpt uh, so hope this video has uh, uh, given you overview that how you can write the tickle file for synthesis right so thank you guys video has been little longer so i'm sorry for that but you have understood the way how you can write it okay so this is all i'm closing this and thank you for watching this video again i am telling you please do subscribe my channel uh, it motivates me to make more videos on like this okay for making learning you okay so thank you